Are you thinking about which products to get from the hottest brand Fenty Beauty? Today I am going to talk about 11 products that you will need in your collection and how they actually work for 12 hours without touch up. So stay tuned and enjoy! First, I have cleansed my face with an exfoliating face scrub and then I am prepping my face with Nuke's dry oil and my lips with Clarins lip oil. After the oil is absorbed well into my skin, I am finishing the skin preparation with Pixi Beauty Glow Mist. The first product from Fenty Beauty is their primer. It's a lightweight moisturizer like primer with a mild baby product like smell. It feels delightful on the skin and absorbs pretty well. Second product is the soft matte foundation. Fenty Beauty has 40 shades of foundation so you will definitely find a perfect match or you can get two shades to match your skin. As I ordered online, I chose two shades 310 and 280. 280 is on the neutral side and suited for medium to tan skin with warm peach undertones whereas 310 is for medium to tan skin with a very warm yellow undertones. The foundation is of thinner consistency, blends easily with a brush or a sponge but the thing is it gets a bit darker after setting. So when you are testing the shades, let the formula dry completely to find your perfect match. I have mixed the two colors to get my shade. You can see that the shade is a bit lighter than my color but as the foundation dries down it will darken a little and match my skin perfectly. If you get down to the coverage, I would say it gives medium to full coverage depending on how much you are using it. I used one layer on my whole face and neck and a second layer on the problem areas. For this tutorial, I have not color corrected around my lips or my under eyes as usual. I wanted to show you how the foundation covers up my dark areas. The third product from the brand is the Match Sticks Trio. You can get these shades individually or get the set. I have used the set tan. With magnetized packaging, you will get exactly this much product on the sticks. Here is the contour shade called Truffle. And here is the highlight or concealer shade called Caramel. And this one is a shimmery shade called Rum. Actually, I think it's better to buy the individual color than the whole set. I am using the shade Caramel as my concealer and blending it out with a damp sponge. As you can see, it covered my dark circles pretty well. I have found that the Match Sticks products blend well if you use the product and blend along at the same time. So I am adding the contour colors and blending immediately with my damp sponge. They set pretty quickly and a small amount goes a long way. The cream highlighter Rum gives a healthy sheen on my cheek which makes the skin look dewy and beautiful. Fenty Portable Touch-Up Brush is another product you should have in your purse. This small brush can be easily used throughout the day with Invisimat Blotting Powder. This blotting powder is one of the best ones I have used so far. It doesn't dry out the skin and gives a smooth blurred finish. It doesn't create any flashback either. If you want to get one of the Fenty Shimmer Sticks, you can try Riddick. This is a golden papaya color that can be used as a lip color as well as a blush. This is a pretty intense color and you will need a tiny amount for a beautiful flush of color on your cheeks. Next product is Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Girl Next Door and Chic Free. Girl Next Door is a light warm pink with mild intensity whereas Chic Freak is a light rosy gold with high intensity. I have swatched these colors heavily but you can definitely use a lighter hand. Fenty Highlight Brush reminds me of the Get Glowing Brush set from Sephora. If you want to get a brush from the collection, I think you should go for this one. The unique shape of the brush hugs the high points and gives a seamless glow. So here is just a light layer of the shade Girl Next Door on my cheek. To make it more intense, I am using Chic Freak on top heavily.
Now I'm going to share my thoughts on the most talked about product, Trophy Wipe Highlighter. This is a warm yellow gold with a greenish base. If you look closely to this product, you will see glitter particles in it. Do I like the shade itself? Yes. Do I like this product as a highlighter? No. Which is why I am going to use this today as my eyeshadow. I am using it without any base but it still looks good. If you use a black or any other colored base underneath, the result looks amazing. The shade is pretty intense and you can build up the depth of the product by layering. Now I'm using the contour shade Truffle as my outer crease color. In this way, you will see how the cream product behaves without setting it with a powder on top. Today's look is definitely very highlight focused and I will show you how the makeup looks after wearing it for 12 hours without any touch up. So I needed more depth on the outer corner and that's why I applied Truffle directly and blended with my Makeup Geek blending brush. I am taking the shade Chic Freak with the same Makeup Geek brush and I am using it on the middle of my lid for a transition of colors. Another product from Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter is Metal Moon. This is a warm white color with gold undertone. This white highlighter is surprisingly wearable. You will need a light touch of the color to give a beautiful glow on your face. My eye makeup felt naked without the liner, so I used M Cosmetics Liquid Liner and I added false lashes. And here is the finished eye makeup. The last product I love from this line is the Gloss Bomb Lip Luminizer. It's a medium rosy brown with gold and pink shimmers. It's lightweight, non-sticky and very comfortable to wear. And bonus, it gives a high shine finish and just makes the lips look beautiful and glossy. I have not used anything on my lips, I am just using this lip gloss and you can see the shade looks incredibly beautiful on tanned skin. So here is my over the top highlighted makeup look with Fenty Beauty products. I kept the makeup as it is for almost 12 hours without any touch up or any blotting. And I am going to show you how the product actually works after 12 hours. And here is the result. The lip gloss is completely gone. The cheek color Riddick has faded a bit but the contour color Truffle can be seen very well. The highlight color is still very prominent. The foundation on my face and neck has not budged and the only place I can see it has moved is the bridge of my rose where I wear my glasses. Trophy wipe is still very intense, truffle on the leaves has creased so I will suggest to use a powder product on top for longevity. Did you like my product picks from Fenty Beauty? If so, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment. Till my next one, stay healthy, stay beautiful and stay with Cephas Corner.